Hey, sweetie. It's just me. Did you fall asleep on the couch? Stay there, I'm gonna join you. You're up pretty late. I woke up to get some water and saw you were out here. Insomnia? Hmm, I don't know, it looks like you solved that one. <laughs> no, no, stay here, baby. You're comfy, and you fell asleep once, so it must be just the cozy spot you need. I just want to hold you. This is why I insisted we get a big couch so we could both fit. I'm just going to snuggle in and lay right behind you so I can get my arms around you. Shh. No arguing. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Mm. Mm. Your arms and legs must feel so heavy right now. Just relaxing into the couch. I can tell you're breathing nice and slow. Letting that calm air drift you to sleep. It was that easy, huh? You're sleeping already. Are you? Baby. Hey. <laughs> yes, you are. Your tiny snores are so adorable. I'm sorry you couldn't get to sleep when you wanted to. I know you've been struggling a lot. And you know you're supposed to get more sleep. But it's not as easy as going to bed and laying down. You've been so tired. I know depression is exhausting for you. And you've been really frustrated with yourself. We always hear the stories when there's some kind of conclusion. How someone beat their illness or figured out a way to change their life, started a better routine and became a healthier person. We get to see before and after photos, hear about how much better their new life is than their old one. An old life that for them, seems like forever ago. But it's really hard to talk about your story when you're in the middle of it. When it just hurts. When you don't know what to do next or can't imagine what it's like to feel better. It's such a rough place to be. And not that many people are going to understand. That's why they say ignorant things and act like you're just not trying hard enough. Because they've seen those before and afters. They've heard other people talk about changing their life like it was so simple. Why can't you just go down the bullet points from start to finish like those people did? I know you ask yourself that, but 
it's not that easy. What other people don't see is all the stuff in the middle. The stuff that I see. The days you are disappointed to wake up because you feel like being asleep is all you can manage. The times we've tried to celebrate a small win, like eating a real meal or taking a nice hot shower. But then you feel even worse because you think you should be able to do more than that. Those days are the hard ones. Those days are the ones that are standing between your before and your after. And I wish we could skip them, like in a motivational video. I wish it was all just a blurry montage. And I hate to see you hurting. And I know a lot of times it seems like you're stuck, like you're not making any progress. But I see you. I see every time you try. Sometimes it doesn't work. You start a new habit and it doesn't stick. Maybe it lasts for a day. Maybe one hour. But I see you. I am so proud of you because you have never given up. You've struggled a lot. You've relapsed. You've gone one step forwards and two steps back. But you never stop moving forwards. Even if it's just a tiny bit. Sometimes, you don't even notice. But I do. Every time you start over, every time you say, today is the day, I am so proud of you. <sighs> you are learning so much about yourself what you need, what works and what doesn't. I remember the last time we did a deep clean of the bedroom together and you were so ashamed. We turned on all the lights and opened the blinds and you couldn't believe what a mess it was. I was there the whole time, day after day, checking in on you, and the room looked the same to me. But you were so shocked at how bad it was, you didn't even know it had gotten that bad, because you had been surviving, and surviving is not pretty. It's not aesthetic, it's raw and, and primal and sometimes vicious. You just knew you had to make it one more day. That's all you could hold on to. And you did. You made it one more day. Then another day, and then another day. So when you finally walked out of that room, it looked completely different to you. 
He didn't even recognize it. Baby, you shouldn't feel ashamed for where you've been and what you've made it through. Our tolerance, our abilities, they change with time and along with the tough stuff life throws at us. Sometimes we can deal with more and sometimes we can deal with less. Your awareness for what you can handle is really accurate. You're getting so good at recognizing that. I know there are a lot of things that you have to go through alone. But thank you for letting me help you. The days you ask for help, I'm so glad you did. You can always ask me for help, baby. I'm right here. I love you so much. You mean the world to me. No matter what you're going through, always remember that. I love you. And nothing's gonna change that.